My name is Barb Northwood, and I'm at Queenswood Center right now. Actually, Queenswood, they dropped the center. But uh, it's, uh, it's sort of a sad and a happy day. This is the day after my birthday, and I've had an art show at Queenswood running for about three months now. And today is the art closing. So today is the last official day. The artwork will still be here next week, but today is the official last day of having my art hanging in Queenswood, which has been a dream of mine for a long time. I moved out of Queenswood last, at the end of February. Before that, I'd lived here for a year and a half. And before that, I came here for years for Zen meditation. So Queenswood is a really, really special place. During the time that I've lived here, I've watched an awful lot of people heal and transform their lives through being here and taking retreats and doing workshops, having Reiki. It, it, it's, it's a magical place. What I used to say when people came here and I, and I welcomed them here was that people have been meditating and praying on this property for more than 40 years. And I think that has changed the quality of the air here. And most people, when they arrive on the property, can feel the difference when they, when they stop and they slow down and they pay attention. So the loss of Queenswood is a very great loss for me and for a lot of other people, but we're all trusting that this will transform our lives into ways that will ripple out through the earth, actually. That's my hope, that the lights that, that were lit here will continue to light uh, the, greater, the greater world. And my hope is always that it will eventually bring peace. The sooner, the better. One of the things that I've done with my art show is, um, is combined it with my birthday. And when people asked me what I wanted for my birthday, the only thing that I could think of was that I wanted things for other people. And so I decided I had read about uh, Project Connect that was happening through Jody Patterson. And I'm not sure what her involvement is, but she certainly was spreading the word, so I asked her advice and, and different ideas of what things that I could do for it. So what I had asked people to do was, when they came for my birthday, was to bring items that she had listed, things very basic, toothbrush, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, for people that they're going to be putting together packages so that starting in the fall that people, they would like to put together over 700 packages, which is probably not enough, but still astounding in the number that that number of people in Victoria need these very basic things that are really important. I, I think that when people, very basic, if you can't look after your teeth, uh, the whole rest of your health is affected. So it, it, I think that they're really important things. So that's one of the things that I'm going to be collecting. And I've worked with uh, Christian a little bit in terms of uh, in terms of sort of passing back and forth art. He's working on a different um, project with Art Place, so some of his art will be being will be being sold here tonight too. So actually, it's it's uh, we're both supporting Art Place in, in two different ways with two different projects. So.
I, I'm, I'm hopeful. I really, really am. I think that as more people become more aware of the, the, the types of challenges that people face when they don't have homes, that they'll see how important it is to have a home and the, that we really need to work in that direction. So anything that I can do or, or use my art toward. I, I made a commitment a while ago that as far as I can that I would um, use my art to support peace because I think that, um, that peace is the most important thing that we can do in this generation. I think peace with children, uh, peace with each other, peace with the planet. I think it's the greatest legacy that, that we can leave and I think the more people who speak of that, the more true it will become and the more the conversations begin, the more people, I think a lot of people have thought it in their hearts and are just beginning to speak it now to each other and realizing that they belong to a, a bigger community of people who also believe these, these same things. And I think that there's tremendous strength in, in that kind of community building and I think that it's really important to look at it in different ways. I think that there's the bigger picture, um, policies, etc. And I think that while those sorts of things are being sorted, that it's really, really, really important to keep making sure that people have sandwiches to eat and toothbrushes to brush their teeth. When I was 27, I, my health disappeared. I could draw before that, but I started to get arthritis very badly, and it involved giving me a lot of time, and one of the things that I started to do in that time was paint. And I'm 48 as of yesterday, so I've been painting for about 20 years, about 10 in earnest on canvas, and uh, I've realized in that, that time period that I have been able to take pain and I've uncoupled it from suffering. And I've taken pain and created joy out of it, created meaning out of it. And I realized that in the world that that's something that I would, I would actually hope that other people can do because sometimes to look at pain people look away. And I think that if you can look deeply into pain and you can bring joy and you can bring meaning and you can bring purpose into that then it's easier to get closer to people who are having a very hard time and it's much more able, you're much more able to do good work then because it's easier to feel kindness and compassion in that process. So I think it's really, really important.